This is the GE High Efficiency Agitator model. Model number is GTW460ASJWW. And this is a this is a really nice washer. It is not the largest with an agitator on the market, but it is a really big capacity. This is 4.2 cubic feet. Uh, that is large enough for your comforters. Uh, you might not be able to stuff everything off of a king size bed in there but you definitely got a lot more room compared to most agitator models. Uh, it does have a stainless steel drum which is going to be less abrasive on your fabric. Unlike the previous GE that I gave you some information on, this one does have a dual action agitator. And that is important to me at least because it does circulate your clothing, it does clean your clothing a little bit better than an impeller model uh, which doesn't have this tall part sticking up. Uh, you do have a fabric softener dispenser here, your liquid bleach dispenser, just put your detergent down in the tub. You have on this one five different settings for load size, small, medium, large, and super. Now this precise fill, if you choose that, what it's going to do is it's going to act like a traditional high efficiency machine and it is going to add the water according to the size of the load of clothing you have in there. In other words, you put it on precise fill, you choose your cycle, you hit start, then it's going to kind of weigh and measure the clothing as it adds the water so you don't end up with a big full tub if you only have you know, a really small load in there. You don't have to actually choose your load size with this setting. You do have five different water temperatures going from hot, warm, your colors, cool, cold, and tap cold. A lot of people don't know what that tap cold is, but what that basically means is just going to put the water in there straight out of your pipes. If it's 25 degrees outside and your water is just above freezing coming out of that pipe, that's the water that goes in there. If you choose cold and it's the same temperature outside, 25 degrees, it will add a little warm water to get it to what it designates as that cold temperature. Uh, lots of different wash cycles. You got your whites, your colors, delicates, casuals, speed wash, so it does have a quick wash setting for if you have some lightly soiled garments that you, you really need washed in a hurry. Uh, a drain and spin only cycle. Your active wear cycle, that's going to be for your dry fit clothing, your, your, your sports wear, your uh, workout clothing. Bulky items for your, your jeans, uh, hunting clothes, things like that. Uh, towels and sheets, you do have just a jean setting. Uh, over here you have your options knob. So you do have the option of a second rinse, an extra spin, or you could combine the two, have a second rinse and an extra spin. And these two here are basically the same, but you're going to use this when you're adding fabric softener. So if you do want to use fabric softener and you want to do a second rinse, choose that option. Second rinse with fabric softener. This does have a pre-soak cycle, which is nice. Not a lot have that. You can pre-soak for 15 minutes all the way up to two hours. Probably my favorite feature about this washer is the deep fill option. Uh, that allows you to, any time during the cycle, once you've started and you've forgotten a garment, you can hit your pause button here. It will unlock the lid. Throw a garment in, you can hit deep fill once. That's going to add three gallons of water. It's really going to help with getting the right amount of water in there if you do forget some garments. The best benefit of that deep fill option is before you start your cycle, you've gone through everything, you've chosen your load size, your temperature, your, your cycle, your options. You can hold this deep fill button down for three seconds, then hit start. That's going to fill this machine up with 26 gallons of water. 26 gallons in the wash and 26 gallons in the rinse. And if you happen to have it on a second rinse, then you're going to have 26 gallons in that second rinse also. GE is, an, for the most part, an American-made brand. They are assembled in the U.S. Uh, using around 70 to 90 percent U.S. parts also. This machine does measure 44 inches in height, 27 inches in depth, and 27 inches in width. Once again, 4.2 cubic foot capacity and stainless steel drum. Nice looking machine.